Hello everyone, my name is Greg Youngblood. Welcome to the channel, Growing With Greg. My purpose for this channel, honestly, is to help inspire others and motivate them to go after their dreams in life and achieve success. Now, this is my first video, as you see, so this means very dear to me right now. But I'll be going over five tips that will help you reach success in 2020 if you apply this to your life. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel and um, let's get right into it. All right, for tip number one, is basically about getting outside of your comfort zone. So basically seeking those opportunity zones that you've never really seen before. And something I grew up on, my family always told me, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And generally speaking, those people that you have in your life can play the biggest impact in your life toward your success. So it's facts. Now, think about who your friends are. You got about three friend groups in your life right now. And that's the friends that's on their shit. It's the friends that's really just trying to have fun in life right now. And then it's the friends that's really not doing much and they're kind of stagnant. Now... If you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you're really more of the friend group number one. But sometimes you can drift all the friend group two and three because friend group number one, they're on their stuff. They're going after their goals and their dreams. You kind of you kind of see them in a way of like motivation and you kind of want to be a part of that, that same thing they're doing because they're trying to be around people who are like minded. Now, friend group number two, they're just trying to have fun and see what the next moves are, what parties happening, stuff that's really not really interesting to you, but it's still cool to be around them. Then friend group number three, you're kind of losing faith because it's like, those are your boys, those are your girls, but they don't really have much to offer anymore because that is not they don't want you don't want to sit around and just talk. You want to sit around and go make some money and get and see what business talk that you can have. That's why you want to be around group number one. So make that executive decision in your life and just distance yourself. Now, when you do that, you're now making some type of change. You're you're, you're now making that next step to go on with your life. So as you're doing this, you need to start seeking things and an opportunity. So when you're at work or if you're out going to a party or if you're out in a restaurant, you need to go you need to go start a conversation with people that you don't know. That is the literally the first step to getting out of your comfort zone. Just starting conversation with people you don't know. And there's no telling what might strike out of a conversation with someone you don't know, because what happened for me is I end up getting a job that I have today. So strike conversation, it can be about just getting to know them as a person, seeing what kind of job they have, seeing what kind of family they have seeing what they do for a living is literally everything ask questions be optimistic be curious just try to get to understand someone's mind so you can get just like them in a way just so you can get on with your life and start being more successful now tip two all right tip two that will help you achieve success in 2020 will be replacing your bad habits with your good ones now i'm not gonna lie it sounds way easier than what it really is but you gotta have a lot of mind power and discipline to actually do this because the way our brains are set up is like we're too our brains are set up to actually want instant gratification. Now, we can have something that we really want in life and it's like a longevity, like for example, losing weight or being really fit, but we're too busy on that short term gratification and wanting a certain sweet or some type of food that we just can't lock our minds on going to the gym and working out, getting fit. So you have to really have that mind power and discipline to actually just be like, you know what? I know this is what I really want, but I gotta, I gotta put, I gotta put these things to the side. I gotta get, I gotta get to it. You know what I'm saying? Like this really, it really takes time. Now, to, in order to actually break that bad habit, you gotta find the root of everything. You gotta find out what is causing you to trigger that emotion that makes you want to go eat them sweets or to go whatever it is for you. Like for example, for me. I had a problem with getting out of bed on time. I used to be in bed. I used to wake up at 8.30 in the morning sometimes and get out of bed at 11.30 when I had shit I needed to do. Now, what helped me is I put my phone across the room and I had it on a charger, of course, and I put my alarm very loud. So then every time it was 8.30 in the morning, my alarm be going off across the room. I had to get up out of bed. And then I already knew, okay, I'm out of bed. I know I need to go to the gym or I know I need to go fix myself breakfast, stretch, do something or read. So... As I'm out of bed now, I'm not getting back in bed. I'm not going to do that to myself. So I was able to get on with my day because I made things easier to do. I made my, I made the good habits I wanted easier. I made the bad habits less attractive at that point. So that's the kind of a way that you can shift it. Now, I'm not going to say go full into what you're trying to do because it's hard. You know, it, what, it, what statistically, statistically speaking, it takes 66 days to create a new habit. So I'm not saying you got to go full into it but try pacing yourself for like a week or two weeks if you have a problem with spending money per se like you spend too much money you don't know how to save 
Every time you leave the house, only bring a certain amount of money. Now, have an emergency card on you, of course, but only bring a certain amount of money so you won't spend. Just make everything easier for yourself. If you have a problem with scrolling on your phone, lock your phone. Lock your phone and put that. It's like a timer you can put on your phone, whereas though it locks you out of the, a lot of the app. And if you really, really want to break that bad habit, you're not gonna, you're not gonna unlock it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna break that timer. So you really just gotta create a self-discipline on what you want in life and make that 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 person you're trying to become more important and leave that bad like like the, the bad just let's leave it away let's, let's put let's put it to the side it's time for a better you that's what we want in 2020 we're trying to elevate and do things differently period now on to tip three <laughs> tip three on how i achieve success in 2020 and this i don't want going over anyone's head who is watching this but prayer and positive affirmations literally is the most important tip i'm giving today because this is what's going to help you achieve whatever you want in life. Literally everything you want in life is going to be is going to be achieved through these two things. Mainly through prayer. But I don't want to knock anyone down because I know not everyone's religious who might be watching this. But God opens doors that no other man can open. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is nothing but facts right there. And for those who's watching who know what I'm talking about, that ain't nothing but facts. You can literally do anything you want in life. Just have him on your side, pray to him, ask him for things that you want. He's going to open them doors. And then with positive affirmations, when you talk to yourself positively, you build this self-confidence that no other man can build and, and, and install into your head. You install it. You got to install it yourself. And what helped me install it, I used to listen to these videos called it's like positive affirmations, but I am type videos. So these videos would be like, I am the man. I am who light in the room. I can do, I am the man who can get any job he wants. I am who everyone needs in their life. Literally feeding yourself with this kind of like, if you feeding yourself with this kind, with these kind of thoughts, bro, do you know how powerful you can like become in life? Like, oh I can't stress this enough. You have to talk to yourself positively in order to see positive results. You can't go through life with, with things coming into your life that's that's negative and you're reacting in a negative way. You just got to see anything that's coming into your life negatively and see how you can get a positive out of it. And I swear, once you start doing this, you really block out all negative thoughts. You don't, I can't remember the last time I even had a negative thought. Like, you know, negative things come and go, but it don't stick with me. I can't keep it on i can't keep it with me for too long because there's too much stuff that god is literally opening for me right now god is opening too many doors for me to be dwelling on some little stuff so i want you to, i want this one to really stick with y'all prayer and positive affirmations don't forget this tip if you don't listen to anything i say right now listen to these ones right here okay that's gonna do everything for you literally anything you want in life this is what's going i'm gonna cut that one out right here man tip four Fourth tip I want to speak on when it comes to achieving success in 2020 is by finding a mentor that is very important right there and talking to older folks. Older folks literally have the best game when it comes to the positives and the negatives. But let me speak on a mentor real quick. A mentor is someone who has expertise in a field and per se that is retaining whatever you want to get into right now. So let's say, for example, you're into real estate or being a doctor or being a lawyer. Me, I'm into real estate. A person who can guide me through the ropes of real estate investing or real estate agency and they've been there, done that, know the laws and know how to get around certain things that I just wouldn't know unless I'm in it or I have to be experienced for a certain amount of time. It's just like, why not have someone who has been there and done that and can tell me literally anything I need to get around something? How to save money. They're going to, they go, yo, some people you got to, sometimes you got to pay for mentors. But the, but the game you're going to get from a mentor is going to save so much money in your pockets and it's going to put so much wealth. It's going to it's gonna really put you on top of the world having a mentor, honestly. So that's just one thing I want to start going on with them. And then older folks. Older folks, they give out the best game when it comes to relationship and life tips. Life tips on the aspect of what to do and what not to do. You learn a lot from older folks when you see how they live. And a lot of older folks don't have that dream lifestyle that you per se want to have so when they talking to you you really got to listen you got to 
you got to have open ears. You got to be willing to learn anything they might tell you because they're not going to lead you astray with the advice they give you. And when it comes to relationships, they done been there and done that probably. They didn't seen so much. They We talking about people who have been in their game since 1960 probably. There's no way possible you're going to tell me you can't listen to what they're telling you and tell me they're talking out their ass when they come into you as a man or a woman about what they done been through and how people think and why you need to mess with this person probably because this person ain't good for you they ain't telling you because they talking out their ass they telling you because they done been through that and as they say life for peace life kind of life for peace itself it's current cycle it always it's going to keep going it's repetitive so as long as they giving out free game you need to be listening now when it comes to this mentor stuff please don't sleep on having a mentor and if you have to pay for one please do so like don't you have to invest in yourself and investing yourself might be investing in a mentor to teach you that game you might need that's going to put you in the right position to make the certain move that you want to make but that's all i want to speak on when it comes to you know this tip right here on the tip five this one is very important because without tip five you're honest not gonna get anywhere in life so be stay, stay tuned. I hope you actually got to this part of the video. All right, so tip five here, and I do want to say I appreciate those who have watched this video fully through. And I left this last tip for y'all because this is the most important one. This will tell me if you're really serious about your life. And this is taking action. If you want results, you have to take action. You know, you life doesn't happen to you. It happens for you. You control everything you have in your life right now. You control the relationships you build. You control the friendships you have. You control the lifestyle you live in right now. You control the thoughts that come into your head. Oh my gosh, that is so important. Prayer and manifestation when it comes to positive thinking is literally how things come into fruition. You have to literally shift the paradigm in your mindset when it comes to how you want things to happen for you. Think positively. Get out of your comfort zone. Do things that you've never done before. When if you have someone that's actually inspiring to you on Twitter or Instagram, reach out to them. Let them know I appreciate you and I'd love to talk to you one day. And see what they say. The worst thing they're going to say is, no, you can't be scared. Don't block your blessings because you don't, you're don't. afraid to take action. I used to be like that as well. I'm not anymore, obviously, because I'm, man, I dropped this YouTube channel because I was scared to drop it a year ago. So please take action. Don't worry about where you're at right now in life. If you have a vision and you can see success and you know, you have clear vision on what you want, think about it really hard. Pray on it. Think on it as much as you can. And if you can see it, you can do it. Because I, I, I promise you, there's no one in life right now who achieves success who did not see this beforehand before they actually achieved it. They saw this coming. They knew it was happening because they prayed on this. They thought on this hard enough to actually make things happen. You got to build that self-confidence. You got to actually release that self-doubt that you may have in your head right now and go after your dreams. And that's all I want to leave out for there. Like, just go take action. That's it. That's the principle. That's the last tip that's going to get you to where you need to go. So... I want to say if you feel like this video helps you out in some type of way, please share and share it to someone who might need to hear this. You know, you might have a friend who's been who's been doubting himself lately. Share it to them. And please like subscribe to the channel if you like what I've said today. And if you feel like these principles helped you and you probably let's say you're already applying some of these same principles. Comment below. Let me know. I want to hear some of these principles and tips that you may have to give. And someone who might actually be watching the video might need to hear what you're saying as well. So. Again, I'm gone. Oh, I'm actually dropping content every Sunday now. This is my commitment to myself and to the people who I inspire. I want to inspire as many people as I can. I feel like if I actually drop consistent content, my point will get across. And I hope it does. So, again, I appreciate y'all who watch this video. Like, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone. Peace. All right, so I know I said I was gone. And technically I was. Because as you see, today's a different day. I'm wearing a different shirt. But on Wednesdays, I'll be going on IG Live starting Wednesday coming up. Not missing a Wednesday. It's going to be at 730 and I'll be answering questions about my videos or just anything that you may have a question to ask me about myself or just pertaining to something that you want to know. So again, I hope y'all enjoyed my content and I hope it was very useful for y'all. Stay tuned in. Sunday, new videos coming up and y'all all have a blessed one. I love y'all and subscribe to the channel.